वेलकम अगेन गाइस वी हैव टॉक्ड अबाउट हाउ अ कैंसर सेल इज प्रोड्यूस्ड फ्रॉम अ नॉर्मल सेल सो इट्स अ जर्नी फ्रॉम अ नॉर्मल सेल टुवर्ड्स अ कैंसर सेल बाय अ स्टेप बाय स्टेप प्रोसेस थ्रू म्यूटेशंस दैट इज ऑकर्ड दैट आर ऑकर्ड इन थ्री डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ जीन्स वन इज द ग्रोथ रेगुलेटरी जीन्स सेकंड वन इज द एपोप्टोटिक जीन्स एंड द थर्ड वन इज द ट्यूमर सप्रेसर जीन्स now in this case we will be seeing what are the ways to become a bad oncogene so suppose we know we know the concept of proto oncogene and oncogene if you don't know the concept of proto oncogene and oncogene please go back and see my video uh, about proto oncogene and the genetic basis of cancer you will find the detailed view of proto oncogene and oncogene then come back and look at this video otherwise it will be difficult for you to understand anyways now here we can find that proto oncogene is a normal version of the gene but it is prone to produce some uh, some other gene that can produce cancer okay so that's why it's called the proto oncogene now oncogene means it can develop cancer so the previous form of oncogene which was safe is called proto oncogene but it is much more vulnerable to produce oncogene okay now generally proto oncogenes are those genes which are associated with any kind of mutation that can give rise to malicious function protein production for example the growth factor controlling genes and also apoptotic genes and also tumor suppressor genes so those genes could be proto oncogenes most of the time and they can become oncogene when something happens to them now what that something that something is a kind of mutation now what what is the definition of the mutation mutation is any kind of change in the gene sequence it's it could be a single nucleotide change it could be a stretch of nucleotide change that can be heritable from one generation to another generation or cannot now here in this case it is not heritable most of the time because if anything happens if a mutation happens in the somatic cell uh, of our normal body cell uh it not be transferred to the next generation so it is not heritable but if a mutation happens in the germ line cells it must be heritable okay now here we can find this is our gene so here is a regulatory region regulatory regions always regulate in case of eukaryotic system uh, the transcription of the gene so regulatory regions never is a small stretch of sequence it is a large stretch of sequence but for our understanding sake we make it a small region so it's a regulatory region right after that we are having the proto oncogene now this gene will definitely produce some product the product would be any kind of the three type as we have discussed now the protein suppose it produces a normal protein so this protein is harmless it is required for normal cellular functionality now what will happen there are mechanisms to convert this proto oncogene into the bad gene which is the oncogene what are the possibilities here we discuss the three different types of possibilities now the first possibility we can find is the mutation or deletion of the gene what kind of deletion suppose uh, let me take a color first okay yeah suppose from this region small stretch of dna just cut it out okay small segment of dna is just cut out so as a result of the small nucleotide sequence cut out it will lead to the generation of small stretch of proto oncogene instead of the original size so the size of this gene becomes shorter as a result the size becomes shorter the protein it it was coded the protein it was coding in the previous time is not being coded now because some stretch of the dna is removed so the protein uh, which it will code now will be different in function and structure because the, the protein is having a dangerous structural function similarity right structural function relationship so it will vary in the structure and functionality so this type of altered functionality and structure of the protein can interfere with the normal cell process and can develop into a cancer cell okay the second type of modification that can happen is a gene duplication this is another kind of mutation so what will happen this same gene can be duplicated several times so here in this case we have only one gene now we are having four genes so as a result of gene duplication we are having much more amount of that same protein product though the protein structure and function will not be changed but the amount of the protein will be increased so increased synthesis of this encoded protein we can obtain now suppose this protein is for a growth promoting factor now as a result of the gene duplication 
what will end up with a lot of factors lot of growth promoting factors now inside the cell if we increasingly produce loss of, uh, lot of growth promoting factor then they are going to tell the cell to grow and divide rapidly so that's how cell can gain the lot uh, cell can gain the proliferative nature and produce the cancer cells okay now the third kind is suppose a, a sequence so here uh, say a DNA regulatory sequence translocated from distant site and altered the expression of the gene. Okay, so it's not about the proto oncogene. So, proto oncogene presents there as it is. Now, the regulatory region that is further upstream of the proto oncogene is get altered due to translocation. So, suppose there is further upstream region, there is some other uh, regulatory region. Now, that regulatory region is translocated onto this regulatory region. Now, that uh, is colored in green color so suppose it this green regulatory part is somewhere further upstream there suppose here further upstream there is this green regulatory part now this part is translocated into this red color region now it will distort the regulatory region as a result of this regulatory region distortion it can lead to the increased synthesis of the encoded protein or it can lead to the decreased synthesis of the encoded protein now whatever it results so for example it will increase the synthesis of some of the uh, uh, growth uh, growth factors so as a result the cell can grow and it can turn into a cancer cell or if sometimes say a, a, this this translocation lead to the down regulation of the protein product so suppose normally this gene is encoding this proto oncogene is encoding an apoptotic factor which is helping the cell to maintain the balance between survival and death now as this red regulatory region is translocated and with this green one now it will alter it will alter the production amount it will uh, alter the expression uh, the degree of expression so less amount of proteins are expressed so those proteins is, will no longer able uh, for the right apoptosis events so as a result the cell uh, will lose uh, will lose uh, the ability to die as a normal process of apoptosis and the cell will become immortal okay so these things can happen and what things can also happen the synthesis of a protein containing portions encoded by different genes that can also happen so this type of malfunctioning protein as we have said in this case can lead to various deadly effects this could have positive effect uh, to produce cancer or can have negative effect to produce cancer okay so these are the different ways one is the deletion second one is the duplication third one is the translocation which can lead to the change in our gene sequence so this change could be onto the pro proto oncogene or this change could be re related to the regulatory sequence so whatever change it is if it is a change in the three types of genes for example the growth regulatory genes apoptotic genes or tumor suppressor genes it will change the course of the normal cell into the cancer cell okay so that's it and i hope it will help you thank you